Hey everybody, it's Clancy with HKN, and today we're going to talk about an AC steady state circuit. So I'll get out of your way so you can write it really quick, if you want to pause or whatever. So that's the circuit. <clears throat> and the goal is to find Vx and Iy. So we have two sources, one on the left and one on the right. This is V1, and it's written in polar form right now. So if you just watched our video on polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates, this will be easy. If you need to go watch that, I'd recommend it. Otherwise, we'll start converting these to rectangular form, because it's easier to work with rectangular form mathematically. So always convert them to rectangular form first. So let's see, we have V1 equals 10 with a phase shift of 0. And that equals 10 times cosine of 0 plus j sine of 0. Sweet. And that equals, well, sine of 0 is just 0. And then cosine of 0 is 1. So we'll have 10 times 1, which is 10. And now we look at V2. V2 is 5 with a phase shift of 90. So we'll have V2 equals, it'll be 5, and then with the phase shift of 90, we're going to have cosine of 90 degrees plus j sine of 90, that's a 9, not a g, 90 degrees. So cosine of 90 is 0, sine of 90 is 1, so we're going to have 5 times j. So v2 equals j5. Just a quick note, keep your j's as the first term. You don't want to have 5j, because if you have a lot of terms in front of the j, you might not be able to tell right away if it's real or imaginary. So, keep the j in front. So now we have v1 equals 10, and v2 equals j5. <clears throat> so now let's do some nodal analysis. This is conveniently called vx, and we'll call this one vy. And we'll just go ahead. It's a pretty straightforward thing, like you've been learning all semester long, just nodal analysis. So we'll have Vy minus V1. And remember, V1 is 10. So we'll have Vy minus 10. And that's all over negative J2. Then we'll have Vy minus 0 over 10. So Vy over 10, and then we'll have Vy minus Vx over J8. That all equals 0. So that's equation 1. And then we have Vx. So before I move forward, something I wish somebody had told me when I first started doing impedance is that you can treat impedance just like resistance when you're doing node voltage. So rather than trying to think of this like, what's, why is it complex or whatever, just consider it to be a resistance for right now. And you can go through the circuit and solve it just as you would with a, a regular resistance. So that's why we were able to just do Vy minus 10 over negative J2. It's just a resistance for right now. So for equation 2, we're going to have Vx minus Vy. And that's all over J8. And then we're going to have Vx minus 0 over negative J6. So Vx over negative J6. And then Vx minus V2, which is just J5. So Vx minus J5 over 3. And that all equals 0. So this is equation 2. So I'll go one step further, but the main point here is to help you with configuring this AC steady state circuit and not solving a system of equations. So we're just going to simplify by one more step here. So we'll have Vy times negative 1 over J2 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over J8.
equals Vx over J8. And then these negatives cancel, so we're going to have a positive brought to the other side. So we'll have uh, minus 10 over J2, which is minus 5 over J. So that's equation 1, just written in a different form. And then for this one, we'll have Vx. And we'll have 1 over J8 plus 1, or minus 1 over J6 plus 1 over 3. And that all equals, let's see, Vy over J8. And then plus J5 over 3. And that's equation 2. So, like I said, we're not going to go through and solve these. We have the answer, though. So, after you go through and solve this, remember the initial goal was to solve for Vx right here, which is the same Vx that's right here. So, once you plug and chug a little bit, what you end up with is Vx equals 1.21 plus 0 0.3, oh, I broke my own rule, sorry, plus j times 0 0.31. So that's Vx in rectangular form. And then, like I said, you can go back to that video to see how to convert this to polar form. And then, once we want to solve for Iy, that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to have Vx, so Iy, equals Vx minus V2 over 3 ohms. So Vx, which is 1.21 plus J 0.31 minus J5, which is V2, all over 3 ohms. And this equals 1.21 plus, let's see if I can get this in my head, uh, 4.69. So minus J 4.69 all over 3. And again, check out that video if you want to find out how to convert this into polar form. But that is it for today. Hope it helps.